I'm going to show you how to save meeting transcription notes to your reflect notes using a combination of Firefly's AI and Zapier. Now, if you've ever used Reflex Whisper AI voice transcriber, you'll know that it's quite good and quite accurate and would actually be perfect for this scenario and is perfect for this scenario if you're taking a call without headphones. So it can pick up both your voice and the speaker through the external speaker on your laptop or whatever speakers you're using. The problem comes into play if you are taking a call with headphones and it only picks up your voice. It's not going to pick up the voice of the other person on the call. And we're hopefully going to change this soon so that you can, in fact, use the Whisper integration in Reflect for this exact purpose. But for now, this is a workaround using a tool called Firefly's AI. Quite good. It connects a, I guess, kind of a virtual assistant type thing into the call that listens, transcribes the meeting voice notes, and then list the action items, key takeaways, a bunch of different features like that. And we can use Zapier to connect the API of Fireflies to Reflect so that it just sends these directly to your notes. So let's walk through how to do this. So first thing you're going to need is your API key. So if you go into your Fireflies account here and go over to integrations, which is this button here, it pulls up this page. Actually, it'll pull up one before where you can search through all the integrations. Just type in Zapier and it'll come up. It's going to ask to connect to your account. Mine's already logged in here. And once you do that, you'll have the API key here. So you're going to want to go ahead and just copy that. And then we can go over to Zapier. And I'm going to create a new Zap. And we're going to connect Fireflies. For the event, I'm going to say a new meeting. That's going to be our trigger. And here I already have my account connected. If you don't have yours connected yet, here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to click this reconnect. And this page is going to show up as a pop-up. But this is where you're going to enter the API key that you just copied from Fireflies and the email that you use for your Fireflies.ai account. So obviously, if you don't have one yet, you're going to want to sign up for an account there. But I've already done this, so I'm going to close out of this. And mine is already connected there, so I'm going to click continue. And for the transcription format, I'm going to choose docx. I'm not going to have the speaker names included. I don't really care about the timestamps either. List format, sure, I'll keep it in HTML. And I'm not going to include any custom topics. So I'll hit continue. And we'll hit test trigger. Now, I should also warn that when I was testing this for the first time, I had a big problem where the meeting, the last meeting that I had set up in Fireflies was actually a failed meeting because of some experiment I was doing. So it, the meeting only lasted like it said zero minutes. There was no audio and nothing to transcribe. I kept getting an error message here because of that failure. Essentially, it couldn't pull any information from the meeting. So it kept getting an error. It took me a little bit of time to get through that. So if you're getting an error, make sure that the most recent meeting that it is found is one that actually has some content. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to continue. And for my action, I'm going to choose reflect here. And for the event, I'm going to have it create a note. I don't want it to append to my daily note because that could just get messy, but you might want to. If you choose a summary like you'll see below here, it's actually not that problematic. So choose whatever you prefer. For my account, I've got a couple here that I use for demo videos, but I'm going to choose my main one here. All right, so now for the action, the name of the subject, that's going to be the note title. So I'm going to have the title of the meeting and that's actually it. You could include the date, but I'm just going to have the title of the meeting there. For the contents of the note, I'm going to start off with the date and then I'm going to click show more options. You can see there's a ton of different things you can pull in from Fireflies. I tend to just want the probably just the summary. So you can choose summary here. There's some other interesting ones. There's like, you know, meeting task notes. There's action items. That's a good one. And maybe I'll choose the action items for this one. So I'll have the date and the action items. And note content markdown. I'm not going to put anything there. I don't want the note pinned. So I'm going to click false on that. And the graph ID. This is the one that always kind of confuses people. Ignore all of this information it's trying to pull in before. This is just your reflect graph ID. So for mine, it's just Sam Clausen. Didn't save it. Maybe I'm, oh, yeah, I'm doing it wrong. There we go. 
All right. So let's test it and see what happens. And I should also say this one seems to take a little bit longer than most of the ones to test. I think it's because it has to pull on quite a bit of information. So usually these take just a few seconds. Uh, this one might take like 30 seconds. That was actually pretty fast. My other one took a little longer when I was testing this before. But let's go see what we have. I'm going to click into my all notes. And here we have Sam and Corey. And we have the key takeaways in a numbered list here. Now you can see it's a little bit inconvenient. It just puts it in as kind of one big block of text. But if I choose the numbered list like I did, I can easily just parse these out. And once I have the final list, then I can kind of use the reflect organizers to turn these into action items if I want. So I could just, I don't know, use any shortcut. I could turn it into a checklist item, leave it as numbers, pretty much whatever I want there. And you can also save a link in there. It has an option where you can link to the actual transcription. So if you want to ever go back to the main transcription and then use Reflex AI editor and assistant to you do the key takeaways, list action items, all that good stuff, that's a possibility. So go in here, see the different options and just keep tweaking the note until you see what you want. And if this appears how you like it, don't forget to go back and publish your zap.